Okay, so I'm starting over. I had just figured out my problem. Anyways, so I'm creating a class color um, to change the way that the colors um, change in the uh, spiral. Because currently what happens is it spawns particles on the outer edge of the screen that spiral towards the center of the screen. Once it gets to the center, it changes the color and it spawns them again on the outside of the screen and they come spiraling back in again. So my thought was that we only need to define a certain amount of colors for what are currently on the screen or currently being used. <clears throat> or actually we just needed to find another phase for so we have a set pattern of colors that they all follow. So one each particle is going to follow the same pattern of changing colors with each uh, end of each particle's life cycle. Oh, I'm so confused right now. <laughs> Anyways, you know what I said. <laughs> Replay it if you need to follow. <laughs> Anyways, so I made this class color. It's got three floats, R, G, and B. Yay. Okay, RGB 0, 1, and 2, actually. It's got a constructor which takes no parameters because it automatically instantiates to a random uh, three floats, GL floats, to be specific. Each particle is going to keep track of where, what color phase that particle is on, and that um, phase list push back color, so that creates the first one, right? So then color phase is 0, and then right in here right in here. We're going to go, so the name of it is actually phase list zero dot RGB sub zero. Nice. Okay. Next. Actually, let's just copy that. To there and there. Pardon me. All right. Well, I burped again. I burped on the last video. My excuse for not recording it was that I ran into a small snag. Anyways, I'm sorry for burping, but it happens. I'm human. I'm not going to edit it out. I don't. Eventually, maybe I will, but whatever. Phaseless too. So let's see if that works. So that should work for the first one. I'm just going to save, compile. Should work for the first one. Random color. And then what happens when they reset now? Okay, so when we get in here, the radius change. Radius is equal to that radius. Okay, so right in here, this we're going to take all this out. So what happens is we want to just change the color phase. So what was the starting color phase sub i equals zero? Okay, so what we're going to do is color phase sub i plus plus okay and then if color phase okay so i is greater than um, what phase list greater than phase list dot right what the just fill in that name phase list how come that's not intellisensing for me and it's not why not why not why not phase list oh wait am I just creating this in ah uh, okay hold up <coughs> We're not putting that just in init. We want that out here. So right there. It's in it. Okay, so now. I was just putting it in the init function, which is only creating it in the scope of init. And then when I went over to update buffer, it was out of the... Yeah. Okay, color phase is greater than phase list. Are you going to behave now? Hey, there we go. Length. No. Size. Size. There we go. That's... Minus one. Because the size is initially going to be what? One? Okay. And color phase initially is going to be zero. So when I add one to color phase, we want to check if it's greater than the size, which
which in this case would be 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, and it's greater than, so then we want to actually do this. To go phase list. Um, actually, wait, phase list dot push back. So that creates another one, and then we're fine. Is that all we need? <laughs> That's cool. So now we can get rid of all this code. Okay. And let's watch it work. What? What? What did it say? Warning. Signed, unsigned, mismatch. If color phase sign unsigned mismatch, what does that mean? Is it not an int? Well, it is now. Okay. Starts with that color. Let's watch it. Let's see if it works. This could be wrong, but it's probably fine. <laughs> is there another color? What's happening? Oh wait, I changed the color phase, but I didn't reset the colors. <laughs> that would kind of be important, so. Duh. So right there we need to reset the colors as well. So we need to do this. So in the initialization we just use the zero with zero with one. Okay, either way we're going to be able to do this right after this, so phase list. The one that we're going to grab is going to be color phase sub i. So we're just going to go right into here. Now let's watch it. Pay attention. Pay attention. Ah, it's going to get me. Hey, we got another color. Oh my god, that's so sweet. It worked. It worked. Here we got purple. What's the next one? Is there another color? Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. It's like a light really super light blue, kind of like the initial color, but we'll get another color soon. So now it'll just keep going through and making random colors and using that color phase array vector list and getting its next color from there. That is like super cool. I can't believe I actually thought of that and did that. Okay, cool. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Leave comments in the section below.